Alright guys, we've designed up a set of blower spacers for the Hellcat slash Trackhawk cylinder head. What we've got here is a Hellcat cylinder head, it's exactly the same as what's on the Trackhawk. We've used the head and the gasket in order to design our spacer plates. Now look, we were pretty shocked when we got this gasket in. We actually saw that there was no metal support here in between that gasket there. So this here can actually boot, uh, breach. Your boost pressure will normally be going into here. And then if this breaches, it'll go into here into the oil gallery. Now that oil gallery is a carryover from the naturally aspirated engine. They actually put the oil into the cylinder head there, but on the Hellcat and the Trackhawk, you obviously have your screw cap on your rocker cover, and that's where you're putting the oil into it. Now if this seal breaches, you'll blow the boost pressure into here, into the crankcase, and you'll increase the blow by that you're getting, and that's why you're getting a lot of oil into your blower. So we've decided, let's eliminate the factory gasket entirely. Let's just get rid of it. It's no good. You've got that potential for leaking. What we've done then to fix that is we've double o-ring the plate so both sides we've used custom o-rings on both sides of the plate and obviously a one-piece custom o-ring as well on the oil gallery so what that'll happen is physically no boost can obviously breach that o-ring seal around the port but more importantly nothing can come out of there either so that'll go on there like so i'll line it up with these bolts for you for the video but obviously when you put your blower on that'll align it as well so again, we've eliminated the factory gasket now. It's gone, you don't need it anymore. Use the plates instead. So that plate there's pretty well port matched. We've accounted for any core shift as best we can. So you can see it's really nice and tight on all the ports. Now what this plate is gonna do, it's a high heat rejection composite. It'll actually stop a lot of the cylinder head heat absorbing up into the blower. At the same time, fit one of our thermal reduction blankets. It's got a nice insulation layer, peel and stick on the back. This will actually reject up to 1200 degrees heat from absorbing out of that valley plate into the belly of the blower. So combined, both of those combined, we expect to see around a 20 degree reduction in temperatures, what we normally see on the LS motors that we do these for. Now because your map sensor slash IAT sensor is about here, you're absorbing a lot of this cylinder head temperature into the IAT sensor. That IAT sensor is physically heat soaked. By putting these plates on, you're gonna isolate that sensor and get it to read closer to true. So we're expecting to have a colder blower temperature, also a colder IAT temperature, and a colder intercooler temperature. We expect to see about 20 rear wheel horsepower. That's what we normally see on the LS motors. We expect that to be exactly the same on here. We're very happy with our design, and I hope you guys are too.